And so that's why we believe the world is going to trend towards this one unified model that gains a foundational understanding of what causes someone to perform well in a job and facilitates all of the matching around labor and the economy. So it's a monolith approach. Mm -hmm. Like one model can understand everything perfectly. And, and the idea is that there are all these different learnings based on different archetypes of people that you place on a role, right? And you can combine all of those learnings into a unified model. So for example, a consultant. A really, really important part about being a great consultant is being really good at communicating and having a lot of charisma. So our model learns that for that project. And then for software engineers, uh, it's really, really important to be technically at the bar. And we can have that optimal archetype for, for software engineers and stuff like that. Um, and through collecting all these learnings across every role, financial analysts, consultants, software engineers, doctors, lawyers, we can build that generalizable model to understand exactly who should be doing what job and why. So you think scaling laws still hold? As models get bigger and bigger, they continue to go better? Yes. Because like chat GPT's 4.5, GPT 4.5 model got hate for becoming better, but, you know, more expensive. So, but we can see, you, you see a trajectory that models becoming, still becoming bigger and better. Well, I think one important caveat is that the data needs to be relevant and sort of in distribution for the tasks that you're trying to solve. And that, if I get really good at solving some sort of problem like writing jokes, it's probably not as applicable to how well I'm assessing doctors. Mm -hmm. But if I get really good at assessing software engineers and like what are all the characteristics that make a software engineer great at their job, right? They're passionate about what they're doing. They're good communicators. They have the technical skills, et cetera. Uh, maybe even wrote certain papers and relevant topics and, and have GitHub repositories that are relevant. A lot of the learnings and how you would go about doing that are very transferable to the learnings that you would have in evaluating a great doctor. And so, so long as sort of the nature of the problem is similar enough, there's an immense amount of benefit to having all of that within the same model.